Okay, I'm gonna take a deep breath. Ah, good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us today to Caregiver and Kids. Um, my name's Jess, this is? And the ghost behind me is? Halston. Halston, and today we get to celebrate the letter G. Can you go ahead and make little fingers like you're almost doing using chopsticks? G, the letter G. Can you say g, 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 good. And I've got the letter G behind me on a board over here. A big G, a capital G, and a little G. And so today we're going to explore, it's gonna be kind of interesting. I'm, I'm curious to know how you're gonna feel about this. We're gonna be ghosts. And a ghost is spooky. And what does a ghost say? Boo which starts with the letter B. Should we go through our alphabet really quickly? So arm up your hands, open and shut your fingers, give them a shake, and we'll go slow. So it's gonna be A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Oh, Farron got a haircut. Look how nice you look, dude. A, a little faster. B, C, D, E, F, G. Good work, one more time. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, 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 ghost. Let me show you what the letter G looks like really quickly. So letter G. G, g, g. And today, ghost. Look at that spooky, spooky ghost. So let's go ahead and see if you can make your way back to the yoga mat. I'll go ahead and I don't have it out. Ooh, ooh, I'm not really ready. But let's go ahead and hit the sound chime. When you hear me hit the sound chime, we're going to go back to our yoga mats. Go, go, go back to our yoga mats. Go back to your yoga mats. I got some spooky ghosts. So my children love to play ghost. And so we're gonna first explore as a ghost floating over our yoga mat. What should our, our yoga mat be today? A haunted house. A haunted house, what a great idea. So go ahead and stand that. Remember we did this last week. I'm gonna give you a close up of my foot. Remember, point to your heel, heel and toe. Point to your heel, point to your toe. Say heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. Go ahead and be a spooky ghost and wander around the edges of your haunted house. Walk heel, toe, heel, toe. And then at the same time, maybe you say spooky. Spooky. For those of you who are maybe a little older, Ghost, the word ghost, can everyone say ghost? ghost? Is spelled actually really interesting. So if you're interested in spelling, it's a G-H sound. G ghost. Okay, have we outlined our spooky haunted house? Oh, yes. Ghost, sit down. Sit down, ghost. Hey, do ghosts have feet? No. They kind of don't but we're gonna find our feet anyway. Go ahead and tap your feet out, tap, 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 tap. And not, we're not gonna sit on me, you can sit next to me, thank you. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, do ghosts have hands? Some ghosts do, ready? Tap your hands. <sighs> and then let's get the feet going. Boom, Like you're a spooky ghost walking down the hallway. Hey, did you hear what I said? I said to start with the feet. Do you ever have a time where you're hard of hearing? So kids and yoga as a caregiver can be a very frustrating experience. You want them to do it your way. And yet as a mom of kids who do yoga, we have to let that go a little bit <laughs> and just let them do their thing. Ready? Are you ready for ghost yoga? If you're ready for ghost yoga. Push your ghost feet to the sky and wave them and say spooky. Oh, that's good core work. Go 
that's good core work. Ah. Crisscross applesauce, run up at the end. Go, 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 go. Notice the sound I'm making. Go, go. Working on our G sound. Are you ready? Ghost yoga. Am I singing by myself? Ready for ghost yoga. Stop your hands really fast. Push your hands, push your hands. Go, 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 go. Take your arms all the way up. Now, in our ghost story, there was a gate. And that gate we stretched over to one side. We'll try a gate in many different positions today, but this is just our beginning gate. And everyone say a gate. 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 Notice the sound is a little bit different than ghost. Let's stretch the other side. Oh, that feels really good on my body. Does that feel really good on your body? Yeah. I love stretching. Okay, stretch out your arms. Woo! I mean your legs. Your ghost legs really, really, really wide. And let's go tick tock. There's actually a lot of clocks in ghost land. The passage of time, right? Stop it. Tick tock. Hey, you can say, no, thank you, brother. No, thank you, brother. And let's go tick tock. I'm a little ghost clock. Tick tock. I'm a little ghost clock. Tick tock. And freeze. Stretch to one side that gate pose again, but this time with legs stretched out. Oh, I like that, Halston. Oh, Halston's doing the full gate pose. We'll get there. And let's go tick tock. Yeah, you can say, hey, brother, can I have a bit more space? Tick tock. I'm a little ghost clock. Tick tock. I'm a little ghost clock. Freeze the other way. Stretch up, stretch up, stretch up, stretch up. Oh, and to get into those side bodies, can everybody tap your side bodies? Say tap, tap, tap my side bodies. <laughs> Maybe you tickle your side bodies. Tickle, 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 tickle. Go ahead and come on up to your knees, please. Where are your knees? Tap your knees. Knees, 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 knees. And go ahead and come all the way up to your knees. And what we're going to do is we're going to take, we're going to make that gate. G -g 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 -g. Take one leg out really long. And then we're going to stretch over to that leg. Mama, this was house pose. That was house pose? Well, it's a good thing that you're on your spooky Halloween house, huh? And then back to your Mama, knees. Mama. Oh. I have a turkey house pose. Mama. And stretch your other oh, leg. I'm going in south Mama. direction. Mama, oh, Mama, gate pose. Door pose. Door pose? We open the door, ready? Open the door of the gate. Ooh. And close the gate. super tricky, those of you who are practicing at home. So Helsing, can you show it slow? So we're gonna go open and shut it other side. And shut. Good. And open. And shut. I think it feels good. What did you think in your body? Feels super good. So the last thing that we're gonna to do to warm up our bodies, I'm gonna lose a layer already, is our sun salutations. Is there anything in our sun salutations that starts with the letter G? Yeah. I'm gonna lose a layer too, Mama. I don't know. Well, let's find out. So go ahead and stand on up. Hey, Selma, I'm teaching everybody at home and you're more than welcome to join me. I might jump on your head though, that's not gonna be good. Okay, so stand on your yoga mat, homie. Wake up your feet, bam, 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 bam. Arms up high, reach for the sun. Hands down low, tickle your toes. What about we say moon, Mama? Feet jump it's back, it's just, just like, like a frog. frog. Just like a ghost frog. <laughs> Belly on the ground. Just like a ghost snake. A ghost snake. And what does our ghost snake say? Boos. 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 Boo. Boos. 
Now downward, ghost dog, and shake a leg, and shake your other leg. We jump up, just, just like, like a ghost frog. Hands down low, tickle your ghost frog. <laughs> Stretch up high, reach for the moon. Moon, oh, let's make a moon in our body. You stretch to one side, moon, moon, moon. How about a moon to the other side? Moon, moon, moon. Arms up. Arms up high, reach for the moon. Hands down low, tickle your ghost toes. Feet jump back, just like a ghost. Belly on the ground, just like a ghost snake. Boose. 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 Now downward, ghost dog. And take your dog for a run. Ghost dog. Take your dog for a run. Run, 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 run. Feet jump up. Just like a, go a ghost dog. Hands down low. Tickle your ghost toes. Stretch up high. Reach for the moon. Bend to the side. Bend to the other side. Yes, you may, Sama. Arms up high. One more time. Reach for the moon. Hands down low. Tickle your ghost toes. Feet jump back. Just like a ghost frog. Belly like on the ground. Just like a ghost snake. Boost, 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 boost. Now downward dog. Oh dear. Shake a leg and go for a run at the same time. Two more time. Two more time. Two more time. Two more time. Three more time. Just like a frog. Three more time. 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 And come all the way down. Oh man, I've lost some children, but let's, that's okay. Let's calm ourselves down. So I have a lot of, listen, I'm talking, I'm talking. Do you hear me? Yeah, we've already, we did three. So breath in through your nose and send me a breath. Can you blow me away? Can you send me another big breath? Good breath, nice, nice and calm. Oh, that hurts. Please don't sit on me, that's not needed. Okay, so I'm gonna break out my gloves because gloves, gloves, g g gloves is another, here's your gloves, Selma Holson. I don't know what happened to yours. I had them up here, oh, they're on the floor. So we're gonna work on putting on gloves. So fine motor skills, great, so you've got even a little one, have them just practice putting on their gloves and taking off their gloves. And I'm going to practice, probably not for the rest of the time in my gloves, but just an opportunity for you, tactile, sensation, different experience. Someone's got a pair of gloves on. I've got my mm -hmm. one Let's see if we can do our alphabet with our gloved hand. That might be a little different, ready? We're just exploring different sensations. So let's go A, B, C. I can't do. D. You cannot. E. Can. That's okay. F. And G. Maybe the left hand goes. A. B. Whoop. C. D. E. F. And G. Okay. I'm going to take my gloves off. Feel free to continue to play with your gloves. But our ghost is going to continue its experience. What does the ghost want to see first? What did you, where did you put your gloves? Mm -hmm, my gloves are right there. So the first thing our ghost is going to see is it's going to, it's going to head, I think it's going to go and see a globe. Maybe you have a globe at home. Globes are super fun. We've got a globe I'm going to go get our, hey, our hey, eyes on me, please. No, thank you. We don't need our globe. We've got a picture of a globe, so we don't need to have the real one out because that might be a little distracting. But globes. And what do globes do? Spin. And spin. So head on back to your yoga mat. If I had my yoga chime, I go ting. Well, that's not your yoga mat. Go back to your haunted house. Ghost. Mama, go back to your haunted I'm house. 
And what we're gonna do is we're gonna curl up in a little ball and we are going to roll around on our yoga mats. Really great sensory input. If you've got one at home that's like, ah, go ahead. We did this for the, for the letter E for earth. And so make a tight little ball. Excuse me, Colston. You're not gonna roll around, I will. Okay? I'm gonna roll him out of the way. Oh, so I'm gonna show them first at home without you in my lap. So go ahead and turn to the side. So what, and I would love for you to try. So Sama's four and she's working on rolling. And so you can either roll them, and I think I'm gonna try that today. So I'm gonna rock back and forth, but I'm gonna rock back and forth in a circle. And so I'm gonna have Selma hug her knees. Can you hug your knees? And I'm gonna roll her, roll down to your knees, back and forth, yep, back. And I'm just giving her a little gentle pressure on the back of the heart. But you wanna tuck in like a seed, Selma. Tuck in like a seed, and can you stay on your back now? Oh, yeah, she's so close. Rocking forward and back. If you'd like, you've got a smaller one at home, like a, like a Maddie. Go ahead and come out to my lap. I like Halston's in his ghost, and he's just rolling around. So I'm going to seatbelt some up. I'm going to hold on to one of my legs, because that's hashtag spine surgery. And we're just going to roll, roll back and forth. Can you roll? How fast can you roll? How big can you roll? Can you roll clockwise and counterclockwise? Oh, rolling some loves when I roll. Maybe you've got an older cousin or friend at home that can roll with you. Or you've got a friend or a brother. Hey, why don't you see if you can do this with brother? Can the two of you roll together? You might bump some heads though, so that's something you might be mindful of. Now I want to see you do five rolls on your own. Can you do five rolls? I like this. Halston's just spinning like the globe around a circle. Can you do that? Around and around, Selma. Can you roll side to side? Okay, I see this. Can you roll side to side? I see this. I'd love to see this. Ooh, now hold on to your knees and use your knees to push yourself up. Oh, she's getting so close to getting it. Okay, so the next thing our ghosts experience is a gorilla. I think Farron might have a gorilla at home, huh? We have a gorilla? A gorilla is a really, really, really big, powerful, strong animal. And the gorilla has a great breath. And so what I'd like you to do is go ahead and stand up on your yoga mats, ghost, or stand up in your haunted houses. And we're just gonna take one foot back. Let me tip the camera up a little bit so you can see me. Okay, so I'm gonna step one foot back. Halston, can you join me please, my yoga assistant? Just one foot, it doesn't matter which one you do. One foot back. So we're gonna come into a warrior position because a gorilla is a really strong warrior. I'm gonna take my hands or my arms akimbo. No, thank you. You're more than welcome to take one foot back and face the camera. Yeah, strong, strong position. Yeah, bend the front knee and take your arms out like the letter B. I'm gonna take a deep breath in and you're gonna go, huh, 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 huh. Arms up, breath in. and the hip flexor on the back thigh for engagement. A lot of our kids yoga for our younger kids is just about coordination, leg identification, experience. You can see mine come in and out. If yours do that, that is a-okay. Arms up and like a gorilla. <laughs> Diaphragm energy, grumpies out. <laughs> Breath in. Ah, nice and powerful caregivers, one more time. Ah, that worked for you and your family. You're more than welcome to do another round. I'm going to step my feet together, take a big balloon breath in, and a balloon breath out. 
Go ahead and come on back down to your knees. We're gonna put that gorilla behind the fence for gate pose, second set. So again, extend one leg out. Stretch to one side, opening and closing the gates. Good, and switch sides. Opening and closing the gates. Mama, I have a, Mama, what does zombie start with? Zombies. Z. Z. Yep. That's what I'm gonna do for Z. Right, okay, let's zombie. see what else we got here. Oh my goodness. I know zombie pose, Mama. This is a fantastic G word. Are you ready for our next ghost exploration? The ghost, it's nighttime, right? He hears a noise. Well, no, that would be a cricket. This is a grasshopper. This is a grasshopper. Isn't that cool? I love grasshoppers. So we're gonna be grasshoppers in our bodies. First, we're gonna be calm, quiet, sleeping grasshoppers, and then we're gonna hop. Okay. So first, calm, quiet grasshoppers is child's pose. So when you're ready, I can't help you, buddy. I'm doing yoga, excuse me. Well, my yoga assistants are really falling down on the job today. So, so sit down into your haunches and then stretch your grasshopper arms out. So this might be an interesting pose for you. And this is where we can get the kids involved. Thompson, can you, Ghost, can you have a seat right here facing the windows, please? And then lay down on me, please. Be comfortable, be slow, and take care of me. Good. And so I'm imagining I'm taking a little grasshopper nap. And Halston on top of me is opening his chest. Can you stretch your ghost arms out wide like the letter T? Get a good stretch in the body. And we're both just relaxing. Grasshoppers have these fantastic legs that curl up for power. They're extremely flexible, which allows them the power to ah. jump even higher. Not okay, Halston, come on up. Come on up. And then curl everybody up. Oh, good sound. Like curl all the way up to your tiptoes. We're going to do three big grasshopper jumps. Now, grasshopper, can they jump just a little bit or can you jump super high? Super high. Super high. So you're on your I've toes. seen a grasshopper you're jump on your toes. up to my nose. Can you, you're up to your toes. You ready? Can you jump up and touch the ceiling? Three jumps. Ah, three, two, and one. Come back into your I sleeping I, grasshopper. I did, I did four. Sleeping grasshopper all the way down. If you've got another child at home, Maybe they try, it's Selma's turn. It's Selma's turn, Halston. Come on over, Selma. Sitting down, you can have your one child practice again. You're facing Selma, but facing the windows. You're looking at the windows, laying on your back. Lay on your back, on your back. Good girl. Come on down slowly. Now, when we do partner work, you need to get them to communicate with you. So, Selma, you need to say, Mama, how's that feel? Mama, how's that feel? Can you scoot your butt down towards my feet a little bit more? Oh. I can roll up. Yeah, that's good. She just rolls to get off. She just rolls to her side. That's what I do, Mama. Try to be as still as possible. We'll take another two more breaths here. On your back, Selma. Selma, you keep kicking this yeah. down. Last three. We're going to do four grasshopper jumps. Two and one. Push yourself up, waking up the grasshopper. Please come up. Please come up. No, thank you. Come up to your toes. Come up to your toes, jumping as high as you can. Here's four, three, grasshopper, two, and one. Crisscross oh, elbows. I did nine. I did, I did nine. Okay, here it is. So calm the body down. Deep breath in the nose. Uh, deep breath in. Uh, one more time. Uh, stimulating the chest, the heart of, or the home of the heart chakra. Um, gratitude. And so I find myself doing a lot of stimulation in this area. You'll notice um, a lot of a lot of things going on, a lot of distractions pulling me from my practice. And yet when we connect to the space of the heart, we, it's not that we tune 
the noise, I said of them, <laughs> kids, you know, because it can be a lot. Um, I just know I'm, I'm going to take care of myself, right? And if they don't want to practice, that's, they don't want to practice or make good choices, that's okay. You're more than welcome to go to your bedroom if you need space. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh. I heard that we've got one of these in the house too. Who's got one of them? What is this guy? Who is, do, do we have one of these in the house? Oh, is that a Sophie? Oh, we had a Sophie a long time ago. Oh, Sophie. Okay, so giraffe pose. Um, giraffe pose can be tricky. So I want to see my older kids rock this one. And I'm going to show some different options for little kids. But this is my older kid pose. Who's my older kids in the house? Raise your hand. Woohoo! Okay, let's rock this older kid pose. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see me. And this is a good one for any caregiver of any age. I'm gonna step one foot forward. I'm gonna imagine that I'm a big giraffe. So I'm gonna stretch my giraffe head, fingertips super high, and I'm gonna hinge my body forward, coming to the fingertips and lifting my back leg up. And then use the core and rock back up. So you can imagine core, balance, stability, flexibility. Okay, what happened to my yoga assistants? Halston, can you do this? I'm curious what your body can do. So I'm gonna stay on my one leg and I'm gonna count to six reps. Can you do this? Woo! Look at her go. So four. Someone has been doing yoga for a while. Good, baby. <laughs> giraffe. Giraffe comes down. And the giraffe comes back up. Okay, switch your legs, baby girl. Austin, can you do this? Can you do this? Other leg. Oh. <laughs> you know, I'm not very good at hopping on one leg anymore. And then we're going to come down. Austin, touch the floor. Lift your opposite leg up. Can you do this? Uh, did you get your hand? The giraffe is going to come down. The giraffe is going to go. Oh my God, my oh. And back up. Oh, I love that giraffe eats high, 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 high. And the giraffe's head goes down low, 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 low. About two more. Giraffe, high, high, high. You've got a foot cramp. Uh oh, we've got a lot of, a lot of injuries taking place in this house right now. And, oh, ouch! And one more. Uh, high, 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 and down low. Do Sophie some justice, and then like my ghost, I'm gonna float back up. Okay, we're doing so well on time. Okay, this next pose has my ghost. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ghost in. There's a lot of ghosts of these guys floating around. This is a very special fish. He is a blue fish. He is a purple fish. He has spots, stripes, spirals. He's a goldfish. Oh! He's a goldfish because he starts with the letter G. G, G, goldfish starts with the letter G. Now we did fish pose when we did F, right? Does anybody remember what fish pose looks like? Do you remember what fish pose looks like? Halston, I'm sure remembers what fish pose looks like because it's one of his favorite poses. But if he's not interested, I'll show you fish pose. Okay, little ghosts. Oh, Selma can do it too. Oh, look at Selma. Oh, can you turn to the side, Selma? Oh, so how we're gonna get in fish pose, and I, like I showed you last week, you can, for the real little ones, you can put a pillow underneath them. I'm gonna sit up nice and tall and I'm gonna shake my legs. I'm gonna get my fish fins ready. I'm gonna swim, 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 swim. And then I'm gonna come down elbow by elbow and then lift my fish heart to the sky and then lay my head back. And I'm gonna take a breath in and say blah, 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 blah
breath in. Maybe some core slips. I'm blowing all my air out, but actually it comes out through my gills, but don't you worry about that. And then push yourself on up. Can you stretch for your tail? Stretch for your tail. Today my tail, no thank you, is my feet. Can you stretch for your feet? And then one more time in fish pose. Halston, do you remember what fish is? Why is your ghost saying, <laughs> Elbows down hard up, head back, three breaths. We noticed today that I haven't really been breathing. Come up, arms up, and stretch for your tail. Stretch for your tail, stretch for your toes. Good. Okay, I think we're ready. Excuse me, Selma. I think we're ready for our game. Excuse me, Selma. So I've got a really important question to ask you. What is this? Well, it's got a label on it, so you can tell. So this is where we're going to use our sticks. So, what I'd like you to do is grab your sticks. So we just have chopsticks here in this house. Oh, I put them somewhere to where the kids weren't gonna use them. And what you're gonna do is you're going to work together with a partner to stick together. So I'm gonna have Selma do a palm of her hand on the other part of the stick and we've, no, and push. And we're gonna work together to not drop the stick without touching it. Oh, let's go this way. We gotta work together. We've gotta stick together. Oh. And what happens if we're not paying attention and not working in unison together? Oh, you can't hold it. You can't hold onto the stick. You've just gotta use your palm of your hand. I'm gonna try this. You drop the stick. So take your stick, palm to palm. So again, palm to palm, don't hold on to this stick. Two partners and work. Can you stand up? Mama, I'm doing Selma, it Selma, can you myself. stand up? Well, that's a, little, that's a little easy, but you get the concept. Oh, and then walk, Selma. Oh, you've got to hold your palm flat. Okay, let's show everybody at home how we're doing. We're working together. Can you go stick low? Oh, can you go stick high? Oh, oh stick high, 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 high. And then can we dance the stick? Whoop! Oh, you can't grab it. And I'm gonna try with Halston. Okay, you can't grab it. You gotta follow me a little bit. <laughs> okay, you can't touch the stick. You gotta keep a flat, flat palm. Can you follow me? Yeah, I'm following you. Oh, Selma, scoot out of the way, please. Oh, you, ah! So this is called the stick together game. You can play this anywhere where you can find a stick. You can't hold on to it. Fingertips up, like you're gonna give each other a high five. Now let's play. You can't grab the stick. You're not open here. Someone wants to play. Can you do it with both? Let's see if we can do two at the same time. Make my brain grow. Start moving around. I don't know why you want to go under. Fingertips up. Fingertips up, Halston. Fingertips up. You need to follow I'm trying to follow you, but you're holding the stick. Ah! There you go. So obviously you can play this game for a while. Whoa, that's dripping on the carpet, baby. Can you put that up? No, thank you. Fingertips up, Halston. So when you get your kids older, whoa! <laughs> Here, we can even make it a little harder. Can you do fingertips? <laughs> Fingertip to fingertip. Oh. Okay. I want to be the inside. I can think, I can imagine that you could even do this with stuffies with the real little ones. I have two hands. So working together in tandem to hold on to something. <laughs> and how you have to communicate, right? So let's go, everybody, let's go low. Let's go low, go low, 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 down, 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 down
stretch your arms. <laughs> okay, continue obviously the play of this game really speaks to you and your family. Can I keep playing it? Please? Yeah, you know what? We have all afternoon, but right now we're gonna finish up some yoga. I like that he really likes this. Okay. That's not helpful. Okay, let's revisit our our language one more time. So A. B, can you do this with me? I really appreciate your help. A, B, C. No, with your hand. With your hand. A, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Hands on the top of your head. Breath in. Horse flips. That's next week, right? That's H. Another one? Oh, that's a piece of pine tree. Okay, make your way back to your yoga mat, please. Make your way back to your yoga mat. Last time, we're going to roll around like globes, and then we're going to take a moment to rest together on our yoga mat. So come on back. Okay, so last time, rolling around. If you want to roll your globe up, in your yoga mats, you're more than welcome to do that. We know Selma would really like to be rolled up in a globe. So when you're ready, Selma, lay on down. So we're just making the bundles like we always do. Not always, but and a, I don't know what she wanted to do. Maybe she doesn't want to roll up like a burrito. I'm like, okay. Yep. Roll that way, Austin. What happened? Austin, long tense. Oh, oh, I can. She's doing really good. At this Let's roll around like a globe. One more time, around and around and around, and we surrender. Ah, oh, today the letter G we explored being ghosts. Our yoga mat became haunted houses. Haunted houses. We played with gloves. We wore giraffes and gorillas. Oh my goodness, what else were we? Grasshoppers together. We were gates. We were gates a lot of times, right? Stretching out the side body. Can you tap your side bodies again. Say hello, side bodies. Okay, you can do it. I'm going to rest. Allow your eyes to close if that works well. G. 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 While we're resting here, let's go ahead and sing the ABCs together. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y and Z. Now I know my ABC. Next time, won't you sing with me? Let me wiggle your toes and fingers. Bring your knees into your chest and give yourself a huge squeeze. Tuck, tuck up, tuck up, tuck up. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And push yourself up to seated. You want to My two are very involved, and I'm going to allow them to do that. Because it feels good for me to be able to focus on you. And so remember our candle breath. So index fingers um, cross. So that's our candle breath. Let's take a candle breath together. Deep breath in through your nose. Blow out your candle. And how we end class, stretch all the way on it. Say yoga makes me strong. Yoga makes me kind. Give yourself a big hug. Yoga makes me peaceful. Make your candle breath, deep breath in, and blow out. Wonderful work. Again, how we've ended a lot of our classes is with writing. So if that works for you in your age range, I encourage you to get a piece of paper, use a yellow marker, 
do some G's and have them trace. You can't really start any time too early. I'm talking to class. You're more than welcome to go talk with brother. I am talking to class. Thank you. If you're enjoying class and want more of it, like, subscribe is super helpful for, for supporting us. So thank you so much for that. We will see you um, in another week with the letter H and hopefully maybe a little happier children. You know, it is what it is. Namaste, friends. Okay, I am going.